This looked like some good old lighthearted fun. You got these two kids with these goofy Ghostbusters backpacks on this colorful poster. And all around it just seemed like a fun time travel movie aimed at kids or younger teens. And I was in the right mood for something like that. So this seemed like the perfect match. Well, it turns out it wasn't, because it's a lot less lighthearted than I expected. There are absolutely aspects of it that are silly and fun, and colorful too. However, the subject matter here is anything but that. It's kind of grim and dark. It essentially deals with racial issues, police brutality, that sort of thing. There was also a fair amount of profanity in this, so it's definitely not a kid's movie. Not that I mind profanity at all, it's just a great example of the big issue with this movie. It sends mixed messages and mashes two very different kind of tones and styles together. And in my opinion it doesn't work at all. It just ends up failing at both things. It could have been a great kids movie, but it's way too dark and serious for that. Or it could have been a movie that dealt with racial politics and serious issues. But it's too silly and lighthearted to work in that department too. And if you want to watch a good recent movie that deals with similar issues, go watch The Hate You Give. It's not amazing but handles the subject a lot better. Because in this, the things that are supposed to be emotionally impactful just aren't. In fact, this movie did almost nothing for me whatsoever. I didn't find it funny, emotionally compelling or all that clever. There were a few mildly amusing scenes, but that's pretty much it. Oh, and there's a cameo in there too that's kinda cute, I guess. I didn't hate that. It's also a decent looking movie and the acting's fine too. I didn't really have any issues with the technical side of things. But the only reason it didn't bore me to tears was probably because it's only 80 minutes long. And I spent most of that time trying to figure out why it didn't work. Here's another issue too. It's a time travel movie. And a short one at that. But it meanders and takes way too long to really get to all of that stuff. And I feel like there was way too much time spent on other things. And I really think the writers had one simple idea. And that's it. Then decided to work backwards from that and stretch it into a feature length film. But they just didn't flesh it out enough and it ended up feeling very flimsy and thin. It felt like a solid skeleton of a story with no meat on its bones. There's no real substance here, there are things in it that work, but they just needed to be more fleshed out. But I'm not sure that would have worked either because of the split personality of the movie. It needed to pick a lane and stay in it, or find a better way to merge the two tones. Because as I said, as it is, I don't think this movie works at all. And here's another thing, why can't you just make a fun movie about time travel? Why does it need to have these social and political undertones to it? Or not even undertones, they're very much in the forefront. What happened to just making a fun and enjoyable movie every once in a while? I don't know, but this movie did nothing for me and I don't know what else to say. I'm just disappointed, I really am, because I was looking forward to watching this. To turn my brain off for a second and just have a good time for a change. Because I watch a lot of dramas and other serious movies. And once in a while I need something different, which I genuinely thought this was. But it's not, it's a lot darker and more serious than it lets on. This thing has a very deceptive shell that's probably gonna mislead more people than just me. And some of my issues with it boil down to my expectations not being met. But some of it is also because I just don't think this movie worked. But would I recommend it? No, I would not. It's just not very good. So you can probably skip it. Or don't. I'm not your dad. But I am trying to sell out, so consider liking, subbing, hitting that bell and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need to build myself a temporal relocator. And hey, why not drop a comment below or check out another review? I'd appreciate it. Thanks.